What's up, superheroes? Welcome back to my channel, the place where we make the impossible possible. Today, I want to talk to you about an amazing manifestation technique that takes 30 seconds or less to do, and it can manifest multiple desires you have at once. First of all, if you're new here, hi. I'm Scarlett Grace, I'm a manifestation coach, and I help people break through their limitations and manifest their heart's desires. If you want to learn how to manifest any desire fast with the law of assumption and Neville Goddard's teachings, then start now by hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss any video that could change your life. I also have several self-study courses to help you manifest, including a 21-day course on how to manifest your specific person. And if you need some extra help on my personal advice for your situation, coaching will reopen in January. If you want to be notified the moment coaching reopens, I have a waitlist that you can sign up for. You can find the link for the waitlist and for everything else in the description below. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could manifest multiple desires at once? 5 desires, 10 desires, 15 desires, as many desires as you like, and it only took around 30 seconds to do. The good news is, there is such a technique, and it works super great. And today, I'm going to walk you through how to set it up, and use it so that it doesn't take a long time, and you can manifest all of those desires, no matter how big they are. It's very, very easy to do, just follow the steps from this video. Step number one. The step number one, I want you to get pen and paper and write down the desires that you want to manifest. Now, since this is the first time you'll be using this technique, don't get it too complicated so that you can get the hang of it. I want you to write down around five desires that you have and start from there. In the future, if you want, you can add more desires to this technique. So you can edit how you use the technique, but for now, pick around five desires that you have. And those don't have to be connected to each other. They don't have to be relevant to each other. So one desire may be to manifest a specific person. Another desire may be to get a specific job or to get a raise. A third desire can be to manifest a car. Uh, a fourth desire can be to manifest a specific vacation, for example. Anything you want. They don't have to be connected to each other and they don't all have to be the same size of desires, the same level of importance. One desire can be tiny, the other desire can be huge. Just pick what you want to manifest and make sure those are things that you truly want to manifest. They also don't all have to be about you. So some of them can be about changing a person in your life. Maybe you have a problem with a person and they want them to like you more or to uh, discuss things more with you or to have a happier disposition. Or maybe you want to manifest something good for somebody that you love. Maybe you don't need the job. Your sister needs a job and this is something that you want to manifest for her. You can add this to this technique. They don't all have to be about you. Step two. For step two, what I want you to do is I want you to take each of those desires one by one and create a very, very small scene that implies that the desire is already yours. This doesn't need to be a huge scene. It doesn't need to take up 30 seconds or two minutes. I just want you to create a scene up to five seconds long for each of those desires, like a snapshot, like a mini video of what it would look like if your desire had manifested. So let me give you a few examples so that you can get what I mean. Let's say, for example, that one of your desires is to publish a book that becomes a bestseller. All you need is to create a scene, a mini scene, up to five seconds from a first person point of view, like always, so you're inside your body looking out of your own eyes, that implies that this is true. So what would be a five second scene that would imply that you published the bestseller book? Maybe you're giving a book presentation and you're on stage and all those people are listening to you and you can see the banners with the cover of your book and the banner says New York Times bestseller, for example. So this is a five second scene. You're on stage. The people are waiting expectantly for you to talk to them to give the book presentation. You can see the banners that imply that you not only publish the book because it's your book cover and your name is on the cover, but also that it is a bestseller because it says that it's a bestseller. And then I want you to focus on this scene, this five second scene, and imagine what this would feel like if this desire was already yours now, if you had already published the book that was a bestseller if you were on stage right now giving that presentation. Since you will be working with multiple scenes here, 
If you want, you can script each one so that you remember exactly what goes into this technique and when. So this is your first mini scene. It's just five seconds long. It can be even less than five seconds, as long as it comes from after the end result is manifested and it allows you to feel the feelings of the wish fulfilled. So if you can get the feelings of the wish fulfilled with a two second scene or a three second scene, it doesn't even have to be five seconds. If five seconds is not enough, you can up it to seven seconds, but it doesn't have to be long. Like five to 10 seconds maximum is the full duration of your scene. Once you have your scene, you move on to the second desire. So let's say the second desire is you are on vacation in Hawaii. That's what you want to manifest. So what would imply that you're on vacation in Hawaii? You can maybe have a scene, again, from a first person point of view. So you're inside your body looking out of your own eyes and you're feeling the feelings associated with your desire being true. So maybe you're at the beach in Hawaii and you know it's Hawaii because it's that exact place that you found a photo of, of the exact place you want to go on vacation. And you're at the beach and you feel so happy and relaxed and it's so great to be in Hawaii and that's your five second scene or your three second scene. So let's move on to the next desire. Maybe the next desire is to manifest marrying your specific person. So you have a five second scene, again, first person point of view, making sure that you feel the feelings associated with having that desire. And maybe your five second scene is you are holding hands with your specific person and you notice your wedding rings on your fingers and you look up and your specific person is smiling at you and you look deeply in each other's eyes. And that lasts three to five seconds. So this is how it works. You take each desire on your list and you create a very small scene, a mini scene, but it still comes from a first person point of view and it still gives you the feeling of the wish being fulfilled. And you create one of those mini scenes for each desire that you have on your list. Step number three, when you have all your scenes together, we're going to stitch them up to create what is called a movie reel or a movie trailer. So basically, imagine this as a trailer of your life. If you had already manifested all the things that you want right now, and somebody made a trailer of your successes, of the things that you accomplished, this would be your movie trailer, your life trailer. So here's how you do it. You imagine the first scene, the one where you're giving the book presentation for five seconds and you feel all the feelings associated with having accomplished writing a bestseller book. And then immediately, the moment that ends, you jump to the second scene. You're on vacation in Hawaii and you're enjoying it so much. And then immediately after that ends, you move to the third scene. You are with your specific person. You're noticing your wedding rings on your fingers and you look up and you look into your specific person's eyes and they're smiling at you and you feel the joy of being married. And you do that for all the scenes that you created and you have your movie reel. Step four, when you wake up in the morning, before getting up, before getting out of bed, I want you to play this movie trailer of your life, making sure that you feel all the feelings associated with each of those mini scenes. It's important that you do it in the morning because when we wake up in the morning, before we fully wake up, before we get out of bed, our brain is more easily influenced. So you can plant seeds in your subconscious mind. You can plant what you want to manifest in your subconscious mind much more easily. If you do it during the day, you have to get into a meditative state first in order to make your mind more impressionable, basically. So that's why it is important to do it in the morning. But that's why it's also good that this is a very short technique to do. It just takes up to 30 seconds to do. Now, if you enjoy meditating in the morning, if you find yourself really enjoying this movie trailer technique, you can of course spend as much time as you want on it. You can do it for five minutes, you can do it for 10 minutes if you like, and you can also, if you like, you can do it as you fall asleep at night instead of first thing in the morning, because that's also a time where your brain is more impressionable and you get access to your subconscious mind much more easily. But you don't actually have to spend a long time on this technique. All you need to do is play this movie trailer once. Again, if it's enjoyable to play it more, you can definitely play it more because the more you feel the feelings of the wish fulfilled, the easier your desires manifest. But you don't have to do it all the time. Just once is enough to plant the seed into your subconscious mind because you're doing it first thing in the morning where your mind is impressionable. And also, because it's not just one desire but multiple, you don't have time to raise resistance in you. 
So you play the first scene and it's just five seconds long, you feel the feelings and before resistance has time to come up, you go on to the second scene and the third scene and the fourth scene and the fifth scene. So the fact that it's fast and it includes super small scenes, mini scenes for each desire, actually helps to bypass your resistance and that's why you can manifest all of those desires much more easily. Try this and let me know in the comments how it's worked for you. And if you haven't already, then subscribe and hit the bell icon because I put out new videos every Sunday to help you manifest an amazing life.